Hi there, this is Frank with Dream Media. We are about to install this brand new Samsung 65 inch frame TV right above this fireplace right here. Yes, yeah, so uh, it only goes to the primary list. We have a power supply already here on this that's pre wired, but basically, on this new television we have here, Correct. we have to run a pass through. This that has to be here to go from the connect from the back of the television to where the sources are going to connect because that drone cable controls power and everything. So it has to be separate here where all the devices are going to go. We're going to be using these uh, past two plates to go ahead and make a, a cut right here next to this outlet. And there will be another one of these on the other side right here that comes out and shows. It'll be nice and concealed in the wall and just coming out right here to have all the devices here nice and neat and organized. All right, we'll update the process as we complete the work. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we just finished unboxing this uh, Samsung Frank TV. Here are some of the accessories that, are, that come with the box, with, with the TV when you unbox it. We have our TV uh, stand mount to come with it. We have the uh, owner's manual accessory kit right here, and also the remote with the power cord and our connect cable here. And this box here is our one connect. This is the one that we're going to run the cable to connect to here, and this is the, the pretty much the phrase of the operation for this TV to work with all the devices connected to it. And here is the Samsung supplied wall mount if we were to use this, uh, we're going to use this mount to mount that one here. So this is uh, designed from Samsung to give it the best uh, look aesthetically on this frame TV. Which these, these mounts are awesome. I use them all the time and I definitely like the way the, the construction is made on this mount right here. Yeah, and that particular mount is specifically designed for this TV. So there's an insert cut out on the back of the television. If you look over here. You actually pop out the plastic piece and the frame no mount uh, no gap wall mount pops right into place giving it a seamless super clean flush mount look so as you can see um, we have got the two top bolts and two bottom bolts inserted into the TV. You can see this mount sits really nice and flush. Now what we're going to do is measure from the top of the TV to the mounting point where this is going to hang so that we can get an accurate measurement of where this needs to go in relation to where the customer wants the TV to end up on the wall. Just about ready to mount this TV here, but we did run into one uh, issue is in order for that to sit in there flush, this has to be taken out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this outlet out, cap that off, take these covers off, and make sure that there's nothing that's gonna keep that from overlapping so that when we mount the actual mount on the wall, it's gonna allow us to hook on the TV flush to the wall. So my next step that I'm gonna do now is go to the breaker and cut the power off. So we're back here installing this. Uh, t before we stop finishing installing TV, what I had to do was to, uh, cut the power off from here and take off the caps to uh, the, the home run that they had here and then the Ethernet uh, phone, the Ethernet connection that's here. So basically what I'm doing now is before I mount the TV, I'm capping off this uh, the Romax electrical wire that's here in the wall. That way we can pass these cables back in here and then the mount will sit here flush and then since these won't be used, I want to make sure they're capped so there's not any uh, concerns with power being exposed. One conductor touching another conductor and causing a spark. So I'm covering those up right now with caps. We're deciding on, uh, you know, moving somewhere or just taking the TV off this wall. But it, it's easy to, to just add another outlet on there. It's a matter of uncapping these and going by the colors, adding that back on there. I'm also going to cap this ground 
And then I want to have these pushed back as far as possible so that they don't come to the front of the mount. And that's how you want to properly cap off the, your wires. So the next step that I'm doing is, this is my center here, center of the wall, which is 45 and 5 8. This is exactly where I want the center of this mount to be at when I'm mounting it. So the bottom of our TV has already been marked right here. And what I'm gonna do, since I have that as my reference, I'm gonna grab some more blue tape here. And uh, I'm gonna go from the bottom of the television here, which is right about there, and just follow my center and then right about here is where the top of the mount has to be so i'm going to use i use blue tape as a reference it really helps me out it makes things easier especially on the delicate texture walls uh, it's easy to just peel off so now i'm going to mount this basically between here and there's going to be a stud on this side and on this side so when mounting tvs always use the studs So we did run into uh, another issue here is that we were able to locate one stud here to hold this side of the bracket centered to where we want the TV mount to be at. But on this side, the way this mount is on this side, uh, the stud's actually over here. So in situations like this, what we like to what we like to do is have two that go onto the stud, center the stud, and then use two uh, drywall anchors specifically made to hold uh, the weight of the TV on top of bottom. That way it stabilizes it and it'll hold the weight and it'll be leveled because you don't want to put a screw through this part here. You want to make sure that that goes in there evenly. And then this is the type of anchor that we recommend to use that's going to hold the, the weight and the pressure of the TV. So what I'm doing here is I have one already on the actual uh, stud in the wall. I'm going to use my, my level and make sure that I'm level. And what I do is once I'm here exactly where I want to be, I want to have that, those drywall anchors away from here and make sure that it, it's somewhere centered so it, it holds the weight of the actual mount. So what I'm doing now is just tracing these right here. And then once I have that mark right where I want it, take off my level, I can slowly move this down like that. And then I have to take it back down. And then what I like to do is just slowly take the anchor here. And what I'll do is I'll use my uh, Phillips screwdriver make a small pilot bit just enough to feed the head on here and then once I do that and I put it at a low gear because you don't want to restrip the head to these and then make sure it's going in the right direction and then mount it in there slowly it's better to take your time and do it right than to go ahead and rush it and make multiple uh, errors so once that's in then you slowly drill it until the pressure points in and you don't want to overdo it because then this won't grip onto the drywall same thing with the top and the bottom. Once I have that there, slowly start the process until I hear that go in and then, there we go. And that's gonna hold the, this side securely on here. The next step is push this up. And then now that I have one on here, I can take these screws here. And before I do that, I'm gonna put a washer that goes through here. So, the, so that it, what happens is if you don't secure this right with the right type of washer, this is just gonna go straight through it and you don't want that to happen. All right, it's separate accessories and, and tools for the same reason. So we have these little rings that come in handy. These are spacers, washers, and basically this just allows us to install this here. And then these specific ones particularly allow us to use three different types of uh, bolts, which is awesome. It's like having a uh, all in one washer. Before we big fasten these on there, you want to make sure that the bolt actually goes in and you push it until you feel the pressure point that it's gripping. And then from there, you know it's already gripping onto the actual toggle itself. You take your drill and you slowly start mounting this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here and I'm just going to use the top one and level it off of that one. Then I'll do then I'll fasten my uh, my bottom bolt. So I have this one here. Like I said, take your time, make sure it's sitting there right because you don't want to go too far back because then it will just make a dent into the wall. So right there, I'm dead center, exactly where I want to be leveled. So once you have that there, then you're set, uh, centered, centeredly leveled. That's exactly where you want to be. And there we go. So now the mount is level. Perfect. I'm looking at 17. Okay, so we're back here again. We're doing uh, the next step, which is basically 
making a pass through from here where the other entertainment gear is going to be at to where the TV goes. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you locate the studs always and make sure that you go on the opposite side of the stud and you want to have them symmetrical to the same height of the existing plate so everything looks right aesthetically. <laughs> So this fits in there just the way we want it to fit. Perfect. All right, so before you mount this on here, you want to make sure that the other side is done too. That way you don't get uh, the cable or the fish tape caught in between these hooks here. So that's what we're going to work on next. So this, uh, this side goes into this connection here. Make sure that's secured in there until you hit click. And then this end is gonna go on the back of the television. Now this cable does the video and the power and everything feeding to that TV. So you got one cable that does everything. Come on, my way. Hello again, this is Frank with Dream Media. Here we are wrapping up the, the installing the TV we just installed. This is the, the Samsung 65 inch uh, frame TV we just installed above this fireplace here. As you guys can tell, everything went pretty well. As expected, everything's all concealed. All the wires are in there. Uh, flush mounted behind the TV itself. And right over here, here's the pass-through plate and that's the wire going to the Samsung Connect. And we also connected her uh, the, the customer's uh, Apple TV, so that's connected onto here. HDMI one input. Uh, everything's all set and ready. TV's connected to our network. And uh, if, if you like this video on this install, please give us a, a thumbs up. And if you live in the Dallas area, please give us a shout. Uh, we specialize in home theater, hi-fi, any uh, home theater needs, we're here for it. And plus, we, we ship nationwide with no, no price guarantee.